better. All right, let's do this. Okay, is that straight on? That's pretty close. Hello, welcome, happy Wednesday, guys. Hope you're all well. Have a good evening. We are doing uh, kachapuri today, which is a Georgian cheese bread. Um, very interesting shapes, kind of like an oval shaped, almost looks like an eye in a way, you know, if you, well, I guess if you look at it kind of sideways, then it almost looks like an eye in a way because it's shaped like an eye and it's got the egg in the center for a pupil. Very interesting thing. So if you're uncertain about it, feel free to like Google, um, you know, Google it, but it's basically a Georgian cheese bread. It's gonna feature a trio of cheeses, some butter, egg, and my pizza dough, which is not exactly traditional. Um, usually it's some kind of dough that uses a little bit of milk in it. It's kind of some more of an enriched dough. Um, I did not do that today, but I uh, just decided to kind of go with like, you know, your average pizza dough, my average pizza dough, I guess, right? Um, so that's the plan. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Who do we got here? Hey, Matt, uh, Cole, Nathan, great to see you, John, hello. So wonderful to see all you guys hang on today. Um, yeah, so we uh, don't have a whole lot really going on here. We're going to be using a trio of cheeses, as I said. We're gonna use the homemade ricotta, uh, my lemon ricotta that is. We're gonna use some feta cheese and some part skim mozzarella cheese. Um, so that will be the trio. We'll be using some butter action, as I said, and uh, my standard pizza dough. Nothing too crazy with it. Uh, made this morning, so it's the same day dough. It's been rising, um, you know, most of the day. Um, so we all oh, we also have a couple of new things going on here as well. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll show you that as well hey totus how's it going so um our new pizza steel is in the oven i've already noted that the heating time is significant we've been heating for eh, maybe 25 minutes so far let's see kind of what we're at normally when yeah see we're starting to get there it's almost to 400 now so we're heating for a little while it's a thick steel but we're gonna be heating that guy even though we are cooking in a pan today i still want that to kind of help supercharge the the heating process to make these things uh you know maybe a little nice and crispy um let's see what else the peel peel arrived today thank you guys very much for your support and um helping us achieve that goal i'm going to show you guys a moment we're not going to use it today because we're cooking inside and i still have to clean it I haven't had a chance to wash it down yet but it's it's a bit of a thing that's for sure check it out it's the real deal real deal peel so you know we got the whole thing nice thin edge so it's got a very nice thin edge all the perforations here as well that basically it will shake off any of the excess will help shake off any of your excess um flour semolina or both whatever you use so what um what we'll do with this guy as well since we have the nice long handle is as i said this thing won't be as practical indoors we could still do it indoors you know where we'd be like it'd be like more like a scoop it up here and then scoop it and then bring down into the oven so the oven door would already have to be open you know like one of those deals um outdoors it's gonna probably be more like a i think build on the wooden peel probably take it out there with the wooden peel transfer it to this guy let's say for example like this guy might be just hanging out you know you do like one of these kind of things where you have the peel just kind of chilling. Can you guys see this? Let's do this real quick so you can see what I'm trying to, trying to talk about. See how I got the peel right now? Sitting between two places. Of course, you want something nice and sturdy, right? And then, you know, we'll just say like this is what we're going to do. So I bring on the wood peel. 
bring the wood peel maybe on over have it right here and then I'll transfer the pizza transfer it over to here and then we can pick this guy up and then over to the oven and then you know there you go so I think that it is good to have the excess handle I really kind of wish that there was something in between the two and the four foot because our other peel has got a two foot handle but this would be nice for um as I said like working in a larger area out there where I could probably like grab up a pie and then transfer it over to the uni quickly without having to like you know get get really into it i mean i can you know what i'm saying i could still get like really close with this thing as long as you mine the rear get really close and then choo -choo. but you're not going to use this thing after the launch really maybe but probably not um once the thing is launched then we're, we definitely be switching to the small turn turning peel so yeah, thank you guys very much. I super appreciate that. Um, yeah, this is a, it's a nice one, you know. It uh, came quickly too. FedEx didn't play around this time. Came with a qu super quickness. So yeah, but here you go. Here is our GI. This is an a uh, Amaza. No wait, is this the Amaza or the Azura? Mm, I think it's the Azura, right? Is it the Azura? I don't have that piece of cardboard handy right now anymore, I don't think. I think it is the Azura, because I want to say the Amaza is not perforated. Yeah, this is Azura. Yep. There you, there you have it. Yep. So. Yeah, we'll have to get this thing cleaned up, and then, you know, we'll be using it hopefully this weekend. The weather looks uh, decent for wood-fired pizza this weekend, so hopefully we'll be able to break this guy in that, that, on that day. I made the dough earlier today for, so this is just one portion of our dough. Here's some of our round dough right here for the weekend. Um, it's going to sit for a little bit longer, and then we will be... Uh, Putting this guy in the fridge, and then that's going to, well, you know, relax till Saturday morning. So, mm. same dough here is over there, just uh, you know, different batch. The uh, dough that we're using for the cacciapurri was mixed, hand mixed actually, and this giant batch here was mixer mixed, if you will. <laughs> Look at this cat, man. We just got the cat just hanging out. She's so comfortable. You're going to see her just chilling. Look, she's literally just going to fall asleep over there. Yeah. Yep, she's falling asleep. Pretty cute, though. Okay, so... um, going to be a little bit of time waiting for this to get up the temp, and that's fine. I went with 425 even though it says 450 just because I've learned that the steel is going to get hot. So it's probably eventually once it does reach its peak, it's going to be over that. It might, who knows, it might even be 450, 460. Yeah, somewhere in that range, I'd say. Yeah, that's probably a fair, fair guess. Um, And we got three dough balls over there. So, trying to think here. Let us start by getting our cheeses together. We're going to combine the cheeses. I'm going to get a bowl. We're going to mix some of these cheeses up. We do need to cut some cheese or I think I'm going to I really wanted to shred it, but I have those couple things, those uh blocks that we made. I don't think they're going to be that hard to or that easy to shred, so we might just kind of cube them. Hey John, what's going on, man? How are you today? Oh yeah, thank you so much. How are you? Let's get a shout out for John. Been rocking those awesome foods in the Discord, man. I appreciate you sharing them. All right, let's see here. We're gonna want. No, you can just snooze. Don't get don't get excited. You can just snooze away, cat. All you need to do is just snooze away. <laughs> right, guys? No, I don't have anything for you. Oh, you're just so cute, aren't you? I know. You're just the cutest thing of all, right? Right. Really? 
There's nothing. Oh my god. Maybe she's being ultimate cute right now. She's being the ultimate cute. Alright, so we're gonna use uh, three cheeses feta, ricotta, and some mozzarella. Park skim. Alright, so let's see. As I said, for this one, I think we're gonna have to cut it up a little bit. Yeah, just give her a million petals. How many of this am I gonna want? Like, maybe a little bit more. Um, so let me get out the other ricotta, actually. Yeah, we'll just we'll use this guy. I know, she's so cute. Pretty, pretty dang cute. Oh, geez, she's getting hair everywhere, though. Alright, so we're some ricotta, some feta. Okay, let's, we can move these guys right here. <laughs> Big Al, how's it going, man? Hey, Christian, how are you? Got a bit, uh, you got the Lloyd Pan. Which one did you order? Just the standard Detroit? Doing alright. All right, so I think, as I said, we're just going to cube this. I'm going to cube some of this cheese action. I'm going to try to make it kind of small, though. Ten by fourteen? Nice. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Start with like this. Really? That web's getting bigger? Got like this giganto spider out front. <laughs> Brandy's finally I think Brandy finds comfort in naming the spiders and then it like they don't scare her as much at that point in time you guys do that anybody do that she's not that big but she is big definitely not tarantula size but she's 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 like like I mean if you consider the legs and everything she's definitely pretty close to half dollar size <laughs> make one instead of going to cold relief there you go so wait can you can you get yourself uh, some brick cheese uh big ale are you able to get brick cheese anywhere nearby like do you have like a uh, a meyer or something like that i don't know i feel like a lot of meyers do stock it but um god i don't know it's been a while all right, so let's take this little stack. It's not going to be ideal, but we'll just kind of make some cubage. Yeah, check it out. Maybe they'll have the brick cheese. I know a lot of times it's Lapari, which is, like, not bad. I will admit I've done Lapari a few times, and it's all right. I think there's better brick cheeses out there, but Lapari's not bad to start with. Or you mix it in, mix the Lapari in with some Galbani. Uh, I don't know. I've really the Galbani I've been using a lot lately has been really giving me a nice edge. It's not exactly like you know what you get out of a brick cheese, um, but I've come to appreciate the um, come to appreciate what I'm getting with that. Okay, do I want any more? And they're not the smallest cubes, but it, it kind of works, I think. Restaurant Depot. There you go. Yeah, dude. Seriously. There you go. I wonder what they have in Restaurant Depot in Michigan. I would have never thought to go there before, back when I lived there. And I wouldn't have really had the need. Back then we were super small fry pizza maker. Small fry pizza maker. I mean, might as well just do some more of this too. Why not? Why not? Get cheesy, right? Let's get it cheesy. Yeah. 
I definitely do miss Meyer and like their fancy cheese section. Publix kind of has that, but like, man, I don't know. Sprouts got like that stuff too. Pretty good. That cheese. I wonder if that's gonna do it or if I wanna do the other one too. Mm, might as well. Doing this one the long way though. Mm -hmm. Yeah? She catching anything out there? Nothing good? Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, that's uh... Hey radio! So today we're making a Georgian cheese bread. It's called Kachapuri, I believe is the pronunciation. Um, but basically it's just going to feature a kind of oval shaped, uh, bread. You're, you'll see, it's going to be very interesting shaped. Uh, it's going to feature that, and then it's going to have these three cheeses, the mozzarella, the feta, the ricotta. And then we're going to be cracking an egg in the center of it as well. So we're going to have this egg. It should be like kind of like still like a little runny and whatnot that we can break the bread and dang it, my nose. break the bread and um, dip. You know, we'll be able to dip and whatnot. Okay, so barbecue steak, nice, very nice. All right, so some feta bits. Break up the feta a little bit because some of these are kind of chunky chunks. Put in a little bit of chunky chunks. How you been doing, radio? Mm. Start working on the radio station. that um i definitely want more got home from work in 10 hours oh boy man dang well you deserve some rest you should just yeah, do it all just put it all in there Cheese, some feta, get a spoon action. Take this. I if I'm gonna want more. I mean, we'll see. I want more. So this is the homemade lemon ricotta. This is the one that Brandy made, actually. She made a really nice batch. She did an awesome job of it. It's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good coverage, I'd, I'd, I'd say. So. All right, so we got ricotta. Got all those. We'll keep this on hand in case we want more. 
Go to buddies tomorrow. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, for inspiration. Yeah, check it out, man. Um, I know that uh, Brandy's ex last experience at buddies was a little lackluster, but I guess it depends on the location, right? I know they just opened up a new Troy. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, see, I wonder if it's just like, you know, I was off peak time and so maybe like they didn't have like the A players there. You know what I'm saying? Like the A players weren't in the kitchen, if you will. <laughs> Original. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely taken inspiration from Buddies, but I do think that it has changed over time. <sighs> like my my uh, recipe. Okay, let's take a look at these. They've half kind of come, kind of touch each other, so I'd say that they're probably about ready. Um, all right, so the oven should be probably ready. Doesn't require a lot of things going on. I think we were gonna chop a little bit of parsley if I still had that handy. Do I still have that handy? How's that looking? Okay, I'll be usable. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Ginger Balboa? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Here we go. Here we go again. All right. Wait, I'm going to need us. Medicinal pizza. I like that. Off the thing here. Oh, come on now. That thing really doesn't want to lift. Lift! There we go. Damn, that took some effort. One more effort than one would like. It's okay though. All right, cool. All right, ready guys? I know, we gotta like, we gotta do this to it, unfortunately. there okay. so we're gonna be using the pan here we're gonna want to get some parchment handy thing never really tears. Yeah, as I said at that time, I did a good job. Do, do, do. Okay. 
I need this to brush just the butter. Which we should probably melt some. Are we gonna melt some? Yeah, it's soft, but we're probably gonna need to melt some. Um it, Do, 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 do. How's your day today, Lynn? So three tablespoons might work. Start with that. Oh, we also need to have some handy as well, just stuff in it later, and we want to have our eggs on hand. Okay, eggs. Do, 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 do. Training today. Wow, that's like exactly how many eggs I have. Okay, doke. Okay, so we're just gonna get this egg wash hand. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't need that many eggs. Chop some straws. Straw barrels. What do you think about that? Let's put these on a different thing. We are not boiling eggs tonight. Okay, so let's make our... Out. Okay, so a teaspoon or just, just say tablespoon. Literally just saw that. Teaspoon. Okay. You have to wait for like another ramen stream or something, I don't know. I'll use a fork, that'll go a little quicker for the fork. Egg wash. Okay. We got the brush, we got that. Okay. Alright, so this is gonna be interesting how this goes, so 
Let me make sure it's free from the counter first and foremost. Okay. Make it a little bit long. Like so. Okay. Yes, like kind of like a football. Okay. I think I want to put it on the pan first. Um, yeah, let's get it on the pan first. Do a little bit of down. Am I gonna have to do these one at a time? I was thinking about that because it, it looks like I've made it a little bit big. Definitely made it a big bad boy. Hmm. That's okay. We can do them one at a time. I don't see a problem with that. All right, so there we go. Once again, it doesn't, the shape doesn't matter so much right now, I don't think. Some of this semolina out of the way. There we go. Okay. What do we got there? Hey, Lord Buckethead, how's it going? Welcome on in. All right, so we want to be able to have some butter to be able to be brushed, right? Where's the brush with the butter? Stick the butter in there. Okay, we did that. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't see the butter part. Oh, that's weird. Huh, that's weird. I thought there was other butter part. Okay, so we got this guy now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this, right, and roll it up. Okay. Like such. Okay. One more roll here. There we go. We'll start with this. Because this is very cubed, I'm a little uncertain you know, about how well it's gonna fill this. that it is cubed trusting on some of the meltage to happen I think um, I don't know I might have to do some more I think I'm gonna have to probably do some more cheese but then I am out of feta mm. we'll see definitely did use all the feta 
want this to be really cheesy. I want to skimp on this ball. Hey, Phil. Hey, two week. Really? That's cool. Alright, there. So I think that's really good coverage. That's going to melt in there like crazy. It might... It might be a little bit too much, to be honest. But I don't want to... Uh, let's just see if we can collect just a little... Yeah, it's not going to do too much. That's fine, though. At least it saves me a little bit for the next next one. Uh, hmm. It's going to be a little strange, though. We'll see. We shall see how it goes. I'm excited, though. Okay, where are we now? Please ESO. Okay. Looks like popcorn. I know a little bit. A little bit. I'll have to see. Hopefully it doesn't run it over too much. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so then stuff. Brush. From the brush with our egg wash friend. Brush it down. Wait a minute. Oops. Wait a minute. Careful. We got a little aggressive there. Okay. Now, I think a few different people have made this guy before. Like, I do believe Josh has made this. Josh Elkin. Miss Ruby, I think, has made this, too. <clears throat> trying to think of who else has made this guy. We got a little egg on the board. We're going to have to clean that up. Not smooth, eh? Not too smooth. All right. So, there's that. Not enough cheese. Well, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see, right? Okay. Let's see what our stone is at now. Okay. I knew we'd be a little above. So there we go. We finally made it. I have it set to 425 and we're at 442. So that's kind of slightly under what I wanted. It's a target temperature of 450, but it works. First time using this steel. It's going to be interesting. All right. Alexa timer, 12 minutes. Alright. Ooh. Fancy. Nothing like a great cup of black coffee. Fancy, fancy. Um a little parsley action. Chop it up a little bit of parsley for this. I saw some folks using dill. Don't normally have like fresh dill on hand, to tell you the truth. Don't use it too often. You see the new sub button? What do you mean the new sub button? I guess no. To support cheese pizza, really? Interesting. All right, so let's focus on this one first, and then I'll figure out what I want to do about number two. Uh, welcome on, then Henia. All right, where were we? 
instead of an obligation. That's cool. That is cool. Was the camera being weird? Stop that. Sub or ban? What's wrong with that? <laughs> John gets it. He understands. He understands the mechanisms. Put the butter aside for now. Put these yeah, butters there. Okay. There's butter too. I don't know if I'm going to need all this though. I'll just keep it handy for a moment. Uh, welcome back. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I would have expected a little more puffage in the dough. Hey, how's it going, veteran DD? Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Change to dismiss. Not a bad idea. Okay. Do 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 do. Back over here for now. So, um. Hey, thank you so much for the gift sub, Lynn. Well, Christian, I'll uh, write your name on the board. Let me know what color you'd like. You know, I think I, I want an Uber Eats thing through Food Beast, actually. I gave it away to a friend, but, um, yeah, through one of their, like, uh, quizzes or whatever. What was it? The quizzes? Yeah. They were doing a, like, trivia night, and, uh, I wanted, like, a $50 Uber Eats card through that. I'm doing okay. How are you, duty? Oh, 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 I almost messed that up. Came close, but oh, I have to redo that. Good, good. Yeah, so what we're doing tonight is a Georgian cheese bread. I just put it in the oven for anybody who's just come on in. Uh, we're in the middle of National Pizza Month. This is ex not exactly a pizza. Um, it's more of a cheese bread, but it's inspired by, you know, the cacciapurri, which is like a Georgian cheese bread. So we got a trio of cheeses in there, mozzarella, feta, and um, some... Homemade lemon ricotta. Ooh, man, that's starting to sting a little bit. Stop that. Okay, anyways. So, um, got those cheeses in there. We're going to be adding an egg to it and a couple pats of butter. So, let me get these pats of butter handy. Um, it's on hand. Do, do, do. This in half. Put this here and then we can cut that in half. 
fit those in there. So yeah, we're gonna be adding some butter. We're gonna be adding egg on there. Be an interesting kind of little guy. Um, I am a little short on the cheese mixture to make a second one. So we're gonna, I don't know. We'll figure out what we're gonna do next. Figure out what we're gonna do. Duco, welcome in. How are you? Yeah, so we're gonna do the egg on top. We got a little bit of parsley, so. Um, yeah, you know, pre pretty simple, I guess, you know. I saw one of these. Yeah, it's not puffing that much. It's puffing a little bit. I saw one of these where it was uh done with kale and such on it. And it actually looked pretty good, the roasted kale. Pretty good. I'd say the cheese, cheese amount looks to be about right. I'm just wondering why. I don't know. I didn't put a ton of yeast in this. I, I put more yeast than I would for a, a cold proof, but not use, not not a quite as much as I have in the past. Yeah, I got. A, I already wrote it on the board. So we're already good. We just. I just did a red. Short on cheese? No, not at all. I still have like a nice five pound block of my mozzarella and some other cheeses too. Where's the pie at? In the oven. How's it going slow? How's it going? So yeah, we made some dough for the weekend already, although we're still do uh, some Detroits. So the Detroits, let's see, how am I gonna do that? That's probably gonna be... Oh, well, we got movie night Friday night. By the way, we're, st we're planning to watch Shaun of the Dead in the Discord Friday night. Um, how am I going to work that then with the dough? Okay, so if we're going to be at seven. I don't know if that I want to plan to be working that dough late. Darn. Um, I might have to do it tomorrow. I might have to wake up and make a poolish in the morning. Work the dough tomorrow night. Let get it in the fridge, and then that way Saturday morning I could break it out, portion it, let it grow, and then that'd be yeah, that would be good. Okay. Okay. What's the craziest topping I've put on a pie? Uh, like one individual topping. Um. Or, like, yeah, I, I got you on there. It's it's in red, though. Spam's not that crazy. Nah, spam's not that crazy. Um, God, it's tough to pick one individual topping. Because we've done some weird stuff. But I'm trying to think, is it going to be a fish or is it going to be something else? Yeah, but we put squid on the pizza before. We put mussels on the pizza before. Those were not good. Shrimp was good. Shrimp's good. When done right. Um, I've put... When we had to make the uh, Super Punch pizza, right? Well, what are some of the crazy stuff we put on the Super Punch pizza? Oh, man. We've done ghost peppers on the pizza. We've done... super. I'm trying to think. Super Punch had the craziest things on it. For sure. The Super Punch pizza. Because I had to pick like 10 things and they were just trolling big time. So it ended up having just wacky stuff on it. Um, Like corn was on that one for sure. Hey Steffi, welcome on in. Can we get a shout out for Steffi in the chat please? Um, what else do we have? What else? Really? Yeah, I don't know, man. I have no idea what happened with that. Yeah, those are really weird combos. Harasser, you're 100% you're right. Those are super crazy. 
Those are like usually it's like one normal topping and one insane topping. Like they'll be like, oh, black olives in peanut butter or like pepperoni and halibut. I don't know. Oh, Alexa, stop. Well, I think I went a couple min minutes early. So to, I mean, I guess to answer the question, we've done some crazy berries. Like we've done some blackberry. We've done some blueberry. We've done kimchi on a pizza. We've done like a peanut butter satay sauce on a pizza. We've done uh, like the Thanksgiving leftover pizza, which is pretty gross. The squid and the mussels are really high up on the list of not things that were not good. Um, well, there's been a few. It's definitely been a few. Vegemite pizza. Oh, yeah, I know. I've seen Marmite pizza. And I know that, obviously, that's the equivalent, the Australian equivalent. I have some I have some Vegemite that was hand-delivered to me by Australians in my drawer right there. Hey, Beats. What's going on, my man? Hey, Raven. Chicken, banana, peanuts. Man, that sounds weird. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's puff it up a little bit. Okay, let's just spin this around real quick, though. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. Ow. Careful. Like, dude, that... Wow. Okay, careful, though. That did touch me. Ooh, I'm lucky today. I can see where it touched me. I'm, I'm lucky today. Still gonna get a nice cube. Lucky today. Okay. How thick is the steel? Three, three eighths. Three eighths of an inch. My old one's three sixteenths, and this one's a three eighths. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, next time I need to use the full on glove. I need new gloves, anyways. That's. I need to stop farting about and get some new better gloves for real oh man all right so we're gonna want to alexa timer two minutes okay so we're gonna take this get our two pats of butter we got one here wonder got one we we'll just keep this separate for a second um what we got so then we're gonna go ahead and get the egg handy don't have the cheer alerts they should be on they should be on oh oh i'm sorry thank you so much for the the 50 i think it's uh it's like 100 or 200 or maybe four i'm not sure yeah it's there's like there's a uh there's a minimum for to alert Sorry, dude. We've had people like spam the cheers in the past, so that's why it's not 100. Um. Let's see. I'll let that go a couple more minutes. How is that an auto mod thing? Wow. That's all, that's okay. I mean, no, I hear you. I know what you're saying, Cole, but. Okay, I guess it's cheer spamming with TTS, right? That that's where it can get a little that's where it can get a little crazy. Alexa, stop.
still want it to get a little bit more golden. Hot. Okay, Alexa timer, one minute. Sorry. Sorry, Al. Let's see. My bad. <laughs> uh, Orze, how's it going? No, this is the plan stream. It'd be on the schedule. Having fun with it. Doing good? It's good to hear. Good to hear. Just a dance stream. Having some Chinese food for dinner. Nice. Chinese is always good. That would be another fun food week to do a Chinese food week. I'm trying to think, man. Like, for me, it's like I, I really want to know how to do stir fry. I'm sure we could do egg rolls. I think me and Brandy have done egg rolls before. They weren't great, but I'm sure we could conquer egg rolls if we work together. Brandy's been thinking about doing some baking stuff. Um, we haven't worked out the logistics, but uh, definitely keep your eyes tuned for that, guys. Uh, Brandy may be returning to streaming with some baking streams. Alexa, stop. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm actually gonna get the gripper because I feel like it is a hot a bastard. So let's get both gloves and grip action. I'm gonna move it up to the top rack for a second just to get a smidge more color on it. That will help get a little bit more color. And then we keep an eye on this and then we're gonna go to the egg stage. American Chinese or traditional? Oh boy, see, I would know mostly know Americanized to tell you the truth, right? Um, Cole, as for traditional, I would definitely look it up. I would look it up, and I might have the access to some of those good, uh, good things that you would need for that type of stuff. But I don't have the um, experience in it. But I would always, I would, I would give it a try. I'd give it a try. But there are certain things I do definitely draw the line on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when we went to dim sum and whatnot. Like, what was it? Like, I was okay doing, like, doing the tripe, the tripe soup or whatever. But I wasn't cool with the chicken feet, chicken's feet. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Chicken's feet is a no, no, no for me. Okay, that's. So, that's a decent little brown. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the egg now. Switch cameras to the stove real quick. You guys can see this. Look at that bad boy. Isn't it looking nice? So we're going to take a spoon. A little spoon action. So just to kind of make like a little well here in the center. Man, we got a lot of cheese. Look at that. It just kind of it literally just fills it right back up. But there you go. That's kind of like. Okay. Please don't get shell on this thing. Oh, you know what? Let's do this again. Let's do it a different way. I don't want to get shell in it. Damn it. Come on. Crack the egg a better way, dude. There you go. Just real quick again. There's the egg. Take one of these. Let's just stuff that guy in there. Stuff that guy in there. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, chow? 
There's some dough under the cheese. Very cheesy, if you will. Ooh, hoo, hoo, care ooh, hoo, hoo, careful. All right, I'm setting one more timer. Alexa, timer five minutes. All right, so I got a lot of eggs out then right now because if I'm only making one more, I only need one more egg. All right, this just popped out for a second, so. <laughs> what burner he uses for the sauces? Oh, yeah. You could tell. You could tell, Tuco. <laughs> We uh, made burgers uh, last night, so it was very, very... I wiped it down, but believe you me, it needs more of a scrub. Because it was a greasy. So, yeah, I'll be hit, taking care of some of that stuff. I got to do a little bit more sharpening work. Um, I did as a, I did uh, season the steel. That's why we're using that today. Um, as I said, I got to clean the new peel. So, if you guys are just kind of coming in... You know, you haven't been in quite yet. I'll show you the peel. I don't think you got to see it. Did you, Lynn? Got here a little bit after, so. Yeah, here's the the peel. So once again, thank you guys so much for your support and whatnot and helping. Just imagine this. We're going to be able to do things like this where we could put the pizza, the finish. I mean, we could retrieve the pizza with this. To finish pizza, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be advisable because once you get a little bunch of soot all over this, you're gonna have to clean this before you start putting another pizza on it. So it's it's doable, but I wouldn't call it super advisable. And then we could be like, Whoa. really, it's supposed to be like the other peels, the turning peels. A lot of times, what they use for retrieval, and they just keep a real steady hand, man, so that they can plop the pie wherever it needs to go without. Uh, Dropping it, right? Is that for the uni? Yes. Yes, we'll be using that with the uni. Replace the stuff on the stove once or twice a year, depending on how cake it gets. Yeah, I hear ya. This one's kind of like, I mean, even with some scrubbage, there's still some stuff that doesn't come up that easily. You put it in a crap ton of elbow grease and it's still kind of... Uh, it almost needs like a really, I, oh, I think, you know, my mom had brought some stuff. I think, I don't know. We don't have it anymore. I'm trying to remember what was it called. It had a really simple name. Really simple name, you know, and it was like something that was like a really powerful, almost industrial type cleaner, right? And uh, you could just get it on there, soak it for like 15 minutes and shh, wipe the stuff up. Um, Yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess foil would do something. Never really thought to do that. I guess I, I've seen people do that. No, it wasn't CLR or something different. And it had a really just simple, silly name like Good Stuff or something like that, you know? transplant it or transport it up to the top for the last like 30 seconds or something like that we wanted the egg to be runny so that's what i worry about is a lot of times we've overdone the eggs a lot of times we've overdone the eggs it's like dur, 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 dur. i mean i need to put up this ninja turtles thing too man i want to get a frame I got it from Christina Cook. She's the one that did my my biz, my stickers for 17th Street. Awesome gal, by the way. But yeah, I bought it from her, and it's about the size of this, right? And it's got the four Ninja Turtles on it, and it's really cute. You know what I'm saying? With the way they're drawn. It's very simple. Very simple drawing, but it's super cool. Lynn, did you get the stickers, by the way? 
Did you get the stickers? Did they show up yet? I feel like they would have been there by now. It's kind of set now. Alexa, add one minute. Yeah. Okay, okay. some good color on it and I think the egg is not fully set pretty good what is all this oh that's just uh yeah I know what that is Alexa stop trailer trash tornado coming in with the four month resub hello good sir how are you well come on in whoops that's not the right cam this is the right cam How are you doing? Good to see you. There we go. A little bit of parsley action on that. What do you think, guys? I think that should be pretty nice. Let's see if we can scope out the bottom. I bet the bottom's gonna be good though, with it being on the steel like that. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a nice looking a nice looking abute. What color would you like, my man? Let me know. Ooh. Got some nice color, actually. It's very nice color, not overdone or anything. It looks great. Yeah, looks really nice, really nice. Okay, so let's uh give it up. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> Love the song. Uh -huh. Give it up, gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little stall runny. That's okay. It's kind of what we're looking for, to be honest. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's kind of get this lighting correct and make some cleaning up this area a little bit. Do, do, do. Give it up, gonna be all right. Diet Crusher, I know. That is an egg in the middle. Let's see if this lighting will help. Careful, that's warm. Might be a little bright.
Uh, it's like I'm creating my own this light and then when I stay in there, I'm creating shadow So it's probably best that I don't stand there Do you put your pan on the steel yeah, I do You might have to adjust your par bake time based on what the bottom looks like because you might get a lot of cook on the bottom you might not get a lot of cook on the bottom you need at least enough to where it's firm right but maybe you'll get too much cook and then you're gonna have to like take that into effect when you're doing your second half of it right so like okay well my bottom's already pretty crispy so let's try and cook it from the top a little bit more and not give the bottom as much attention. And so sometimes that will kind of become the, uh, the, uh, the balancing act, right? Okay, I think those are, I feel like I gotta get some good shots out of that. Deets! Hello, Deets, how you do? Which has been doing what? Oh, the music, yes. What are we, wait, what are we talking about now? Yes, I'm aware of that. Is what DMCA friendly? Uh, I should be on the spot. Of, I should be on the uh, not Spotify, the Chill Hot playlist right now. But we should have no problems. This is Chill Hop, so yeah, we should have no problems here. Hey, home, what's going on? My Chill Hop ones have been good lately. I haven't been seeing muting happening on those. All right, God, that's gonna be weird to cut. You know, we're just gonna have to use the uh, yeah. Been lurking as you cooked it. That's awesome, dude. I appreciate the lurkage. You know I do. You know I do. All right, it's good. We got ourselves a little, a perfect crust, a pizza liner to help ourselves here. Yeah, Tico. I don't know to be honest, my man. It's gonna be weird how things are gonna be. You know, probably going through some changes and whatnot. Some people are gonna have to ride the wave. All right. I'm gonna need a oh, babe. I don't know if she's gonna be able to do that. Let's see. I would like to be able to get a video of me doing the tear and the dip. I, I think I can manage that on my own. Too much lighting though, right there. Guys, yeah, right here, you can see all the thing. We gotta understand, Twitch is it's a big business, right? So. They have sponsors that they're going to have to placate. And as Twitch grows, they're only going to have to play by the rules more and more. You know? Well, I got a pair of lights. I just got to get better at, like, placement. I got to really figure out the placement. You know, because I got that one. I got another light. Oh, that other light over here. I try to, but it's really crowded over there. All right. Let's, are we ready? Okay, it's gonna be interesting. Well, I think I got a great video of that. Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to be able to pull it apart. Hmm. That's really good, though. We all pull it apart? Kind of. Oh, yeah. You guys in for the cheese pulls here, hopefully? Oh, yeah, there we go. Bottom looks nice. What runny eggs taste like. Oh, yeah. 
Ooh. Lemony. Nice lemon zip from that ricotta, man. Okay, I'll take it. Good. I like runny eggs. You know, when you dip your toast in them, I'm down. Not the way I got when I was young. All right, so. Team is raw. I mean, you know. Hmm. Wow. And they call it a pull apart bread, so let's let's do exactly that. Pull it apart. Oh, yeah. This is good, man. This is really good. Definitely. Um, interesting. I can't wait to make a pizza with that new skill. Thank you so much, Deets. Tuco, is it working out for you nicely? Excellent. Yeah, that's going to be a game changer, man. Seriously, getting a scale is like the step, one step to great pizza and baking greatness. Seriously. Ooh. A little salty right there. Okay. Bunch of salt. It was not sourdough. This is my standard. Standard pizza dough. Just made same day. A smidge more yeast. Kind of give it a little bit more of a kick in the butt. So it doesn't take. Because when I, my pizza dough, my normal pizza dough, my M1 as I call it. I use so little yeast, but it's because it's like a multi-day rise, you know? It almost has that texture of a pretzel. Almost. Almost. Really good. And of course, it's like super floppy. It just falls apart right away, but... One of the good things. Ooh, 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 crap. Come on now. One of the good things about it. Hmm. Yep. Uh, that's good. Mmm, the butter. It's the butter. That's what I'm like, what where does that salt come from? It's the butter, but also the ricotta. The ricotta's got some salt to it. That's really good. Hmm. Man, this is a. Uh... Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. You see the eggs on there, too. Hmm. Oh, yeah.
I can see why Josh Alkin would be into this one because of the egg. Quite good. It's almost like you're eating like a cheesy omelet, you know? All right, no worries, big Al. Thanks for hanging out with us today, ma'am. I hope to catch her Saturday, yeah. Hey, Mythical, what's going on? No, this is a, um, like, um, this is like an eight hour dough. Maybe seven. This is, a, this is like, it's my dough, but just, um, not proofed that long. But I did add a little extra yeast because of that. This is going to be all like, I don't know how I'm supposed to pick that bit up right there. But, um, oh boy. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's too dang good, man. See that butter running right there, yeah. There's some butter. Some egg. Oh. Mm. That's good. I do wonder what it would be like with the milk. It probably would be a little fluffy, I bet. <laughs> Brandy's trying to avoid this all together. <laughs> really good. Really good. Well, you know, I really like the, uh, I really like, it was going to be a little watery, but. I like the, um, this, you know, this would take a little bit more work, I think, to be like a cheesy bread. That you'd sell on the side. I don't think everybody would be into the egg. But I have done with my Detroit styles before where I just cheesed them up and made them into just cheese bread. And those were actually really good. Um, but it's a lot of work because, you know, my, I do the Polish based thing for my Detroit. So it's a lot of work to get the cheese bread in the end. And I think a lot of other folks that do Detroit don't do a Polish based uh, method. So they get to the end quicker, right? There was this one uh, recipe, excuse me. Well, there was a recipe, yeah. There was a, a Detroit pizza uh, thing that was released on YouTube just a couple days ago. And the pie looks pretty good. Um, the explanation, the history is there. Um, there's definitely some misinformation in the video. Um, but the, pro the end product looks pretty good. But it's totally different, you know, the method is totally different, you know, because I, as I said, I do a Polish base, so that just makes my method a lot longer. I'm, right now, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I'm looking to see if I can um, maybe convert from Polish to sourdough. But either way, you still have to have some type of a pre-ferment on hand. But I guess with the sourdough, at least I know that as long as the sourdough was nice and fed... That we could just jump right to the next step and you know not worry about making a poolish and then waiting eight hours right so and i know that one of these guys one of these days you guys hey nicole thank you so much for that two month streak hell yeah i think that uh some of you guys would probably appreciate like a start to finish to detroit tutorial um and I think that, like, I think that's something I could do if I planned it with, like, certain trade-offs. 
you know, because if we were to do a Detroit pizza start to finish, I mean, it'd probably be like a, like a 15 hour stream at the minimum. And I'm not willing to do that. So I think there'd have to be trades, you know, swap outs and whatnot to make it happen. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Besides, most of the uh, time would just be waiting for the poolish to pr uh, the poolish to rise. So that would be. You know, a lot of time it's just taken up. Yeah, parts would probably be better because then it could be the poolish. Then the next part would be the mix, and then it could be part three could be the bake. You know, even though two and three could be done on the same day, but we could always break it out like that. Um, I guess it all depends. Because if I ask you guys to refrigerate your dough, then there's the whole, there's a whole nother layer of complexity that comes into it, right? Yeah, I could edit, but I, I just really don't love video editing. I don't have great software. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm a live streamer, because I don't really do much of editing. You might do some cuts here and there. A little cut and paste, but that's about it. Um, maybe that's all that would be needed for that. Maybe that's all that would be needed. But, um, yeah, that's just really not my forte. And we already have some of the Detroit dough. We do have a Detroit dough uh, video, but it's pretty old now. So I'd probably like to redo that. And, of course, the stuff on my Instagram is really good, too. I think the video I made on Instagram a few months ago was actually pretty dang good um, in showing kind of the part, like a good good portion of that process. Whew, man, I am beat up. I am like, I don't think we're going to be making a second one. I'll save the dough for another day. Uh, Yeah, save the dough for another day. Okay, look at who showed up just in time. Hi, Clobear. She's gone. And she left. Yeah, it's a filling pizza. Definitely a filling pizza. Alright. Alrighty do. Let's see here. Check that. All right, I don't think we always get a chance to raid Mr. John Ling. John Ling! We don't always get a good chance to raid him, so I think we should show him some love today. Not always kind of overlapping. And he's baking some Halloween treats, it looks like. Always a good one. All right, so Saturday we are doing uh, a pop-up. We're planning to do pop-up. So I've got the menu already penned up for Saturday. Um, I haven't released it yet, so tomorrow is when I release the menu, um, so that's, uh, when we should, you know, start accepting, uh, reservations, and then we'll see how it goes. I don't know, it's Halloween. Halloween is a very, very popular pizza day, um, for pizza ordering. I, I do know the neighborhood is doing a little kind of a, uh, Halloween candy thing, um... So we'll have to see how that goes with that going on as well. We're doing the movie night on Friday, right? Yeah, no, the movie night is Friday. So Friday, 7 p.m. is the movie night, guys. So if you want to hang out with us, we're going to do Shaun of the Dead. Um, I will ping everyone. If you have no interest in movie night whatsoever, just go ahead and go and mute the movie night uh, chat channel. You can just right click on it and turn turn off notifications for it. Just all together. And you can turn them back on whenever. Because that channel will probably start to get a lot of action when the movie happens. And if you don't turn it off, then you, you might get a lot of like bings and dings and pings on your phone. 
And uh, so, yeah, that, that's if you don't have any interest, you know. But you're more than welcome to pop on into the chat and chat with us while we watch the movie. Um, yeah, and we're going to do Shaun of the Dead. So, yeah, Friday at 7 p.m. So we'll start gathering right around Friday at 7 and then probably start the movie at, like, 7.15. Um, yeah, and just have, like, a nice little hangout. And then Saturday will be the um, pop-up stream. We'll do that noon Eastern time. So there you go. And that's gonna that's it. That will be the end of National Pizza Month. We'll take the, a day off, and then we'll get right into the Mexican food. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. Um, let us do this raid. I know it was a bit of a short stream today. I liked what we made, though. Nice, quick little, quick little thing. So, nice, quick little thing. Thanks so much for hanging out today, guys. I appreciate all the lurkage. I, I gotta get... Wait, hold on. I gotta get a name on the board, right? I gotta get a name on the board. Hold on. Who needs to go on the board? <laughs> Was it, uh, why is it not showing me? I'll look it up and I'll get him on the board. Pokimane's on the board. I'll figure it out, and I'll get you guys on there. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Let's initiate this raid. Raid. Mr. John. Lung 888. There we go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I really appreciate y'all. Thanks so much for the lurks, for the hangs, for the bits, for the subs. Just for being awesome. Ah, it is Nicole. I'll get her on the board. Thank you, Nicole. Nicole's been an amazing supporter. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll catch you next time. Until then, as always, stay cheesy out there, and we'll see you around. All right, take care, guys. Bye now. Ah, come on. There we go. All right, let's go.